Hey everybody, my name is Andy, you can call me Bundy, and we are playing Diddy Kong Racing. It's been a while since i played this, so hopefully I won't suck too badly. But last time we played, I got the second Whizpig amulet, getting us half of Whizpig's face up here, which I'm going to fly up here. That's terrifying. It really is. But we are not doing that right now. We are going down through here to the next door, which is over here. Pirate Lagoon, right? No, that's not the name of the level. Sherbet Island. That's the name of the level we're going to. So as you can see, we got four more levels, all uh, based on the tropic and whatnot. We're going to start out with the first level, Whale Bay. I'm just like starting right off the bat today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This, this this level, personally, reminds me of um, one time when I played uh, using an emulator. We used Project 64K, which is a uh, Kyera client, which means you can play Nintendo 64 games online. Um, this was like back in 2010, 2011. I c I'll, leave a, I'll leave an annotation so you can see the video. But basically, what happened was... The guy's visuals like messed up so badly and this was like really trippy and that's why one one big uh, memory of Whale Bay is that. Other than that, I mean honestly, I would have to say Sherbet Island is probably my least favorite of the five four levels. Women levels. Oh gosh, nobody took my oil spill. That's sad. Also? I don't know, have we dealt with Hover? Yeah, we dealt with Hover a little bit. But there is actually a secret to, uh, if you like, swerve a little bit in the water. That can give you a little bit more of an advantage. At least I think. We got first anyway. We'll just keep going. Sounds good, right? Alright, next one we have is Christian's Island. No, oh, sorry Banjo. We're just kind of trucking along, too. You got this, Banjo. Come on. Also, since I played last... Oh, let's... So I get that. I also found out that there is an actual trick to uh, the A-tapping mechanic that I mentioned in a previous video that a bunch of speedrunners do. Instead of just, like, repeatedly, repeatedly tapping, like, just nonchalantly, you want to go for about, like, four or five presses a second. Uh, I'm not perfected in this at all, but it is, oh, dang it. That's why I'm still just kind of casual, casual gamer as it, as it was, as it should be. Um, <laughs> so there's that. The music in this game, though, I'm going to go back to that, about how fantastic it is. David Wise did an amazing job. Don't, don't, don't believe what other people have told you. Grant Kirkhope did not do the music for this game. Yes, he did Banjo-Kazooie and a couple other games, but he didn't do this one. So, we're just kind of trucking along. There's not really much to be said about... Uh, Crescent Island either, other than the fact that there's a giant pirate ship and the giant pirate ship has an Nintendo 64 logo on it. Um, I believe in the uh, DS remake they changed in that logo, but I could be wrong. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played Diddy Kong Racing DS because uh, as fun of a game as it is and you know, let's remake all of the rare games for Nintendo consoles. I don't know, it just kind of left me wanting more, especially for the fact that you can't play as Banjo or Conker. Uh, kind of sore spots for me. Oh, and while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and jump back in to Crescent's Island because we missed something. Um, I'm actually... Oh, I can't do the hover. I'll just stick with the car then. Alright. So, the key for this level is actually in Crescent Island. But I don't like doing it during a race because, um, this is going to be fun, 
but it's just like sneak. the water also here bounces up and down. I, I, I respect that. Here's the key. See it? It's pretty. And now I'm in like eighth place. Granted, I could probably catch up if I wanted to, but I usually choose not to and just go back to the lobby because it saves it once you get it. And then we get to watch this beautiful cutscene of a key going into a keyhole. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> So now that that's done, we can do that after we finish the boss. I think that's how I've been doing it. I don't remember. It's been a long time. So the next level is Pirate Lagoon, which is another fun one for me, actually. I enjoy this one. It's probably my second favorite of this level. All of the levels in this game are just so much fun. I think, I think the music helps. It makes it so, like, wee instead of bleh. If that makes sense. Um, let's see. Running through, there's also, you know, shipwrecked ships. Pirate. I don't know if they're pirates or not. This is Pirate Lagoon, so I'm going to guess that it is. Also, all these zippers. Oh, nobody hit that? Really? That or someone else that one there. I don't know. Ah! I missed it. I mean, it's not like I'm hurting to stay in first currently, but it's still nice to be, like, decently ahead, because that's just me. Bo boosting, booming, whatever. Oh, finally, someone finally hit it or it disappeared. I'm not sure. I don't remember if the items in here, like, disappear or dissipate or whatever. I've never really tested that out. Alright. My commentary is just terrible today, and I apologize for that. Um, it's been a little bit of a weird week for me, so I'm finally getting to recording this again. I, um... Yeah, uh... With it... It being post Valentine's Day and all that, and just um, a lot of stuff that I've been going through and whatnot. Um, so we're back here to Treasure Caves. This is probably my favorite out of the uh, uh, banjo or banjo out of the Diddy Kong Racing levels for this stage. Um, I mean, it uses the same music as the other levels, but. My favorite part is this little like sewer the sewer area. I don't know what you would call it. It's not really a sewer or like a, I don't know. But I feel like slightly advantaged because I know this little the little let's play trick or the speedrunning trick. This is a let's play. Speedruns are much faster. And some people are ridiculous at this, like um, Two Fool and Miss Gizema Luke. I don't know how you say it. I, I just call him Giz because he's Giz and he's awesome. And hi if you're watching. <laughs> I know he shows up in my Twitch streams a lot and I greatly appreciate that of him. Um, I still haven't figured out an exact schedule for my streaming so if you see that, um, just hop in. Sometimes I have it. I think I have an annotation set up on here that if I'm on Twitch you can see it in my videos. but. I've never actually tried that out myself because I'm usually busy streaming and my computer can only handle so much. But with that, we are heading forward to the boss. Okay. Also, I've never known. I've never mentioned this, but if you look, oh wait, no, they didn't do it. Uh, in some of the levels, it like changes the um, lighting so that everything else is like pink. It didn't do it there, of course. Oh, it's also my least favorite boss of the entire game. But I actually, I don't remember when that was. I did a stream of Diddy Kong Racing to practice for this. And uh, I actually uh, was imitating, I, I don't remember the name of this, Bubbler? I think that's the name of the, maybe it's not Bubbler, I don't know. Octo. We'll just give him the name Octo because he's an octopus or a squid. I don't know. Does he have eight legs? I'll have to get closer and look. But yeah, this is probably my least favorite out of all of... Oh, yeah, we've done... Oh, gosh. We've done Hover on here before because the walrus was that. 
Also, fun fact, if you use a homing missile, it goes through the track so you actually hit them no matter what. That's different than like if you're using it against uh, actual racers. Yeah, this isn't looking good. I, I am not a fan of the octopus. And I'm going to throw that out there because he's, I don't know, he's my least favorite. Um, but I don't know why he's so hard for me. I don't understand it. Okay, I think it might be partially those logs that are everywhere and the stupid green mine things. Which, it gets worse the second time. I'm just going to let you know that it gets worse. Usually they say it gets better. No, this time it gets worse. It gets much, much, much worse. Okay, okay. This is crunch time, Bundy. Okay, can you got it? Oh my gosh, I got it first time. I did not think that I would do that. <laughs> Today is a good day. All right, and he is bubbling. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, he does have eight. He's an octopus. There's like two in the back that are hidden. All right, solid enough. Okay, so we got that. Now for, before we finish this episode, I'm going to go into the locked door over here. Dark Water Beach. My favorite part about this level is the way that TT says it. Dark Water Beach. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in, uh, in the other one, the, uh, the ice level. I don't remember the name of the ice level. Wow. It has been a long while since I've done these. But, um, you can only maxim maximize your red to the homing missile. You are stuck with the green mine for the green power up. Uh, there are some other, um, weapons here, like the protective shield. And there's, I think it, it might just be a protective shield, but the weapons are like at a severe minimum in this level. Tip Top, you're still at full health, we need to change that. Thank you, Tip Top. Okay, I feel like he's gonna be my biggest rival right now because, I mean, mainly for the fact that he still has. Okay, Diddy Kong's dead. So much for being his own game. Um, who's next? Tip Top is over yonder. Uh, take that, Tip Top. Okay, and if Tip Top gets bumper and then I get Tip Top, then I can win. Or I can just get both of them and be done with it. There's Tip Top, or Bumper. Bumper's dead. Now time to go after that turtle. Turtle. Win. That was easy. That was actually really easy. Also, it's a very, very pretty level. I don't know if you know, like with the starry background and the water and stuff. I don't need to watch this. With that, we have our third piece of the TT amulet. One more piece to go. Good luck. Waiting, waiting. Okay, cool. All right, with that, we are done with the first half of Sherbet Island. So next time, we will tackle the Silver Coin Challenges, defeat the boss, and do the trophy race. So, oh gosh, Banjo, I did not even press the A button. So until next time, my name is Andy. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite level from this, from this uh, world is, because I'm kind of curious. So I will see you next time.